today the topic of discussion is C output based question on pointers. So we'll discuss a various question on pointers. So let's start with the first question of pointer. And the question is here you have given a, a main and one function is called and you have to predict what will be the output of this following code uh, either A, B, C or D. So let's start with the solution of this question. Whenever you have been asked to solve such type of question, always try to make boxes for every variable. So first of all, we'll start from main. Fine. So we have a variable A. So what we did, we made, made a box. One with name A, one with name B. Let address of A be 100. Let address of B be 200. So value of A is 5. So I'll put 5. Value of B is 6. I'll put 6. We have a pointer variable. And you know what is pointer? Pointer hold address. So P is the pointer variable which hold the address of A. So let's again make a box because it's a variable. It will also have a memory. It will also have a box. So fine. So P uh, name of this box is P. Let address of this box be 300. And in P, what you are putting in what in P in pointer P, what you are putting address of A. So what is address of A 100? So what you are putting inside is 100. Fine. So you are putting inside P is what 100. Fine. Now what happens? You again created a double pointer. What is double pointer? Double pointer will hold the address of single pointer. So let the name of this be Q and make it sure let address of this be 400 and this Q will hold address of single pointer. Why? Because this is double pointer. Fine. So let's start. Okay. Now what happens? What am I doing is that pointer P is equal to 20. So let's start with pointer P is equal to 20 means what is P? What is what is there in P? 100. So I'll write 100 and after that pointer. So what is pointer 100? Value. So I'll go to the 100 and after putting pointer I'll move inside. So pointer gives value at that address. So fine I'll move inside fine and what I'm doing I'm changing its value from 5 to 20. So what will happen this 5 value will get changed to 20. So finally what will happen this will get updated to 20. Fine hope you understood. Now let's move ahead. Q. Q is holding address of P which is absolutely right because Q is a double pointer and double pointer will hold the address of single pointer which is exactly right. So Q is having address of P. What is the address of P? 300. So Q will have 300. Fine. Okay. Now this line is completed. Fine. Again what I'm doing is I'm calling a function F with value A and address of B. So what is the current value of A? 20. So I'll write 20 here. And what is address of B? 200. So I'll write 200. The moment I call this function it will go to its body fine so again if what will happen again will create a variable fine why because these variables these variables are different from these variable even though they two can have same name here we have p here we have p but these two can have same uh, name but they they are they are exactly different a two family can have same name a two family can have james as their son fine but this james is different from this james so let's start with what i did when on calling this function what will happen the value of a will be passed to x and the value of 200 will be passed to p so what will happen two boxes will be created one with x one with p let the address address will be different let the address of x will be is 500 and let the address of this p is 600 so what i am doing is passing x with value 20 so 20 will come here fine and passing 200 to value of p 200 will come here fine okay now what will happen see now what will happen what am i doing is pointer p so write pointer p what is there in p which p this p what is there in p 200 so write 200 pointer 200 means i'll go to 200 address i'll move inside and what i'm doing is that i'm see from this place i'm jumping directly to this place because pointer gives the value uh, pointer access the addresses so i came here to address 200 and while moving inside what i'm doing is i'm changing value to x so what is the current value of x 20 so this value will be updated to 20 so what will happen 20 will come here fine hope you understood now now what i'm doing is i'm changing x to 10 what will happen x will change to 10 but this will hardly make a difference now the body the task of this body the task of this definition is complete now i'll come to this line fine okay so this task is complete i'll come to this line pointer q what is q this is q so write pointer q let me rub all this is now what is q 300 so pointer q is well 300 values so i'll move inside fine i'm changing it address of b what is address of b 200 so i'll make it 200 fine so i'll make it 200 hope you understood now now what i'm doing is pointer p what is p what is p 
uh, write pointer P. What is P? 200. Now P is 200. Pointer 200 means I'll move inside this and changing this value from 20 to 30. So this value will become 30. Fine. And at last, what am I doing is printing value of A and B. What is the current value of A? 20. And what is the current value of B? Uh, uh, is 30. So answer will be B. That is 20 and 30. And yes, exactly. The answer is 20 and 30. So hope you understood what this uh, pointer was all about. In next upcoming uh, session, we'll discuss more question on pointer. Till then, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share the channel. Please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.